Nearly 3,000 people formed a chain around Bosnia's parliament on Thursday, saying they would not let politicians leave until they started doing their jobs instead of keeping the country paralyzed with ethnic bickering. The demonstration started as a small protest over a new law on personal identification numbers. The crowd were demanding new law on ID numbers after the old one lapsed in February, leaving all babies born since without personal documents. The crowd rejected the government's offer for a temporary solution. Bosniak, Serb and Croat lawmakers are at the loggerheads over some digit designating regions in the 13 digit ID number. As a result, babies born since February can't get passports or health insurance because those require a personal ID number. The essence of the problem is that the representative of the three groups in Bosnia have never given up their wartime goals. The Serbs are trying to keep the, con the country divided and perhaps even secede from Bosnia the half they control. In line with this policy, the Serb lawmakers want the new ID numbers to reflect this division. The Bosniaks and the Croats claim the Serb request is a further dividing the country. The crowd is also frustrated with how ineffective the parliament is in general while the lawmakers make six times the average Bosnian salary per month. There is also more than 20% unemployment and increased poverty in the country. Bosnian member of Bosnian presidency Bakir Izetbegovic last night issued a plea to protesters to go home and wait for changes to come next year on general elections. On the other side, Serb MP Aleksandra Pandurevic on Thursday said that these protests are anti-Serb and anti-Republic Srpska protests directed to show them as a fascists. Media reports about three-month-old baby who needs urgent life-saving medical treatment abroad but can't travel because the infant can get passport sparked the initial protest on Wednesday. Baby's problem was solved with the government agreed to start issuing temporary ID numbers until the new law is passed within six months, but the protesters now demand the proper solution. Support to Sarajevo protesters spread very fast through Bosnia and Herzegovina and the Balkans region through social media engagement. Bosnian diaspora all over the world also organized peaceful gatherings to support parents and babies in Sarajevo. Protesters are defined to continue protests at the Parliament Hill over the next days and weeks with expected support from the student organizations. Over the last two or three days I spoke with many people here in Canada and they simply could not believe that Bosnian government is so divided and useless. In any other organized country, similar situation will force government to resign and call new general elections. Unfortunately, in Bosnia's case, this government and parliament will continue as before and the only victims will be the citizens.